Hey guys, today we're gonna do a borate startup on this, a Robert Lowry <clears throat> borate startup on this pool right here. Um, I came by earlier today when the pool is still filling and took some readings of the pool. And uh, we had 140 alkalinity, calcium hardness, 130, and then a, uh, a pH of 9.1. So what I did is um, I did a little video of it. I'll probably put it in here, I don't know, we'll see. But what I did is I took a bucket and then put in about a gallon and a half total of acid in this pool um, and used the bucket method, poured uh, water, you know, poured the acid in the bucket and then walked it around the pool. And, uh, and that's the safest way to do it in a brand new pool like this. Um, I wouldn't recommend any other way but that. Um, okay, now what we have on the pool after the acid is good thing that we uh, that I put in that acid so now source water 7.9 pH 130 alkalinity calcium hardness 110 dissolved solids 290 okay just tested the uh, pool water here after it ran for about uh, 45 minutes um, pH 75 now 110 on the alkalinity 130 on the calcium hardness and 290 on the TDS. So over in the bucket over here, um, I've got some uh, four pounds of calcium chloride in the bucket. Okay, now we needed 20 to come up to 150 is what we want to bring it up to. Um, it's called a little less than three pounds, but I put in four pounds. Now how you figure that out is, it's a 21,000 gallon pool. You can go on Google uh, Maps and, and zoom in on the pool and do a, a measuring and then you can figure out the gallons that way. So it's 21,000 gallons, so that's 2.1 times the amount of increase, 20, times 1.33. And that gives us 55 ounces. And then divide that by 16 and you come up three and a half pounds. I got four pounds in there, so we're gonna bring it up just a hair more. And then, um, so that's over there. And then for the borates now, borates we're gonna use boric acid. Um, 50 ppm. So again, uh, boric acid is 76 ounces for 10 ppm in a 10,000 gallon pool. So it's uh, again, 2.1 times the five times the 76, it gives you the ounces, divide that by 16, it comes up with 50 pounds. So we're gonna be putting in 50 pounds of um, boric acid in this pool. Um, the acid, We already did, we don't need to figure that out. Sodium bicarb, we don't need sodium bicarb in the pool, so we're not gonna figure that out either. But again here, this is a uh, Robert Lowry Bory startup. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, basically, since we already have, um, already brush vac it, um, the pool has been totally brush vac it's really clean. Um, I think you can probably tell that, I'll take a, a video of the pool afterwards, but, um, Okay, so now, here we go, day one, um, borates. We adjusted the water already with the acid. And the way you'd figure acid out, might as well run that here real quick. The way you figure acid out, if you have um, 140 alkalinity in the pool, say ours is 100 and say 130 alkalinity, and we gotta get that down to 100, we wanna take it down by 30. So acid is 2.56 ounces uh, for one ppm in a 10,000 gallon pool. So again, it's 2.1 times the amount you want to take it down, which is 30 in this case, times our 2.56. And that gives you the ounces of acid that you need. And then if it's really high, then just divide that by 128. Um, you got 128 ounces to a gallon. So, okay, so that's how you would figure out the acid that you would need. So now we've got the borates going here. We've got the bucket over there. Okay, it's still a little windy up here. So we're going to uh, try to take it easy with this. You can try to get rid of some of these clumps here. And uh, what we're gonna do is get our pole ready. Yeah, no, looks like all the plaster dust is pretty much up, backed it up uh, really good. So I don't think we're gonna have to worry too much about that. So let's get going on this. It's 50 pounds in this bucket right here. So let's just broadcast it into the pool here. Mm 
you can just get this up. You really don't have to get all this right now, but might as well. And then just brush her in. You can do about 10 pounds at a time if you want, but just make sure you just brush it all in. And the DE cup, about a half inch from the top is two and a half pounds. So, and that's how you figure that out. So you basically just two, two DE cups, figure five pounds. It's already figured out. And uh, we have about 50 pounds in there. Yeah, it's like, this pool is looking awesome. There's no plaster dust coming up at all now. Um, putting in that acid in the very beginning and getting down that 9.1 pH um, sure helped out, man. If I would have came here now and this thing was full, we'd have a problem now. Since we got the 7.5 pH um, and then that alkalinity, I'm not gonna touch that alkalinity because this boric acid is more than likely gonna bring that down a little bit. And then it's gonna bring down the pH a couple points as well. So we're gonna be uh, really good tomorrow on day two, as far as this pool goes. Now again, borates, borates is gonna help buffer this pH uh, against that 13 pH plaster. So that's gonna be a good thing. And it's gonna make this water silky smooth. And, uh, and sparkle a lot better. It's gonna be an algostat alg now. So it'll help protect this pool against uh, al algae during this five day process here. Uh, so that's a good thing. And, uh, but the biggest thing here, boy, is the, uh, the pH buffer. This water is kind of, kind of nice. So a lot of this um, boric acid is just dissolving. I mean, it's beautiful, you know. It's... All right, let's check out the calcium chloride here and see how we're doing. All right, yeah, looks good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now we're just gonna, um, let me give it another mix here real quick. Yeah, nice and clear. Okay. All right, let's put that in and we will call it a day. All right. Okay, a recap. Day one, Robert Lowry's Bory startup, source water. Check it out. Pool water after it's been running for about an hour. Check it out. Um, and then it goes down to the calcium chloride. Calcium chloride, um, sequestering agents. Make sure the sequestering agents go in here. I put in, the other day I put in 32 ounces and then today when I came here, I put in another 32 ounces in the pool. 64 ounces total sequestering agent was in this pool. Um, 21,000 gallons. And then calcium chloride. Calcium chloride, we have to get the uh, 
calcium hardness up to 150. So 150 on the first day. And uh, I mentioned how to, how to do that already. Um, borates, figure out the borates, put the borates in on the first day. Um, and then since we're using boric acid, um, when you're figuring out your total acid, like your, uh, if the pH, if the alkalinity is up to like 140 or so, bring it down to maybe 100, not 90. And, uh, and then, cause when you add the boric acid, that's gonna probably drop it down a little bit more. So you don't really wanna overshoot it. So leave yourself a little bit of space right there. Um, so you got the borates, you got the, um, the acid, and then sodium bicarb if you need it, but you're gonna rarely need sodium bicarb in these pools. And that's it for day one. And then day two, we'll be back tomorrow and we'll do day two. All right, later.